okay guys in this session i'm going to tell you how to create a navigation bar a menu bar in your dream viewer okay so here i have my basic layout uh, which i have already mentioned in my last session how to create this basic layout you can start uh, doing further okay so here uh, i'm starting with the navigation bar which i'm taking it with uh, as an ap div tag uh, what is ap div tag ap div tag is absolute position div an absolute position div lives up to its name it is positioned to a fixed point when it within its container and it cannot move from it this position when you draw a div with dreamweaver's draw layer tool this is the type of div you are adding to your page an ap div is positioned on a page wherever the top and left decorations tell it to be you can also use the bottom and right properties to position an element although this may prove to be buggy but is not something i would recommend okay let's start now click on your css layout here you have css panel uh, in that we need to insert a uh, ap tag here so first click on the end of this uh, line over here after here keyword then say css panel and select the header point add in a property as in a position where you want your uh, this ap div tag to be so uh, select the position or you can select from your drop down list or you can write in directly here you have multiple uh, uh like uh, selections like absolute fixed relative static inherit so you can select a relative here or just delete it select in a header here you can go over like here also like click on edit rule and here it will be more clear for you to understand click on positioning here you have a positioning rule position rule uh, now you can select in as relative here and then apply and okay so here uh, it's already mentioned here as i have selected there position as in a relative so here uh, as in a pre previous session i mentioned that these tags are basically nested under uh, each tag like uh, outer wrapper has nested with i um, mean these all header content footer are all in, all nested under outer wrapper tag and header has uh, its own tag and content has its own and footer has it so now ap is going to be nested in a header tag so uh, let's start go to insert go to layout objects click on ap div so here you have this box which is a pair after selecting the ap div tag so you can drag it like you can drag it anywhere uh, you want on uh, on your screen basically we are starting with the uh, navigation bar which we want in the header tag so we are going to actually uh, change the position of it or we can actually uh, resize it accordingly how you want your navigation bar to be okay so here you can actually uh, move it anywhere you want so i'm moving it like i've selected here okay hover over here and you will see a red uh, red or pink color border and you can now over over here and you can drag it like this now you can uh, resize this by like it's giving me some problem i don't know what the problem is let me fix it and let you know okay so uh, this is the way how i actually pan i just uh, drag it here and i just resize my uh this panel uh using this uh, uh minimize maximize button and just click in here and just type in it's my navigation bar so this will show you that uh, uh here you are starting with the navigation bar or menu bar uh which is which is you are going to create in a dream viewer okay so here you have a uh, ap div tag which is you are going to use to create a menu bar so let's uh, start with the menu bar now delete this navigation bar here now go to insert panel 
here you have different categories for particular menu bar spray you have a uh, spray category just click in here here you can see you have different different options you also have if you will scroll down you also have a spray menu bar just click in here and you have a uh, option here like you want your menu bar to be in a horizontal way or in a vertical way here i'm uh, selecting the horizontal way just click in ok here you get a menu bar uh, with different different options let's see it in a live view okay so this is my live view here if you'll hover it then you can see your drop down list here the same way how you have different different ways of how you are doing it you can actually uh, customize it you can actually put your own content here i'm going to tell you uh, that how you can put your own content on this uh, menu list your own items your own uh, list of items here so uh, let's go to a design view so here you have a property panel just click in here and here you have a spray menu bar if you will click in here it will automatically just popped up if let me show you like uh, just go to this prime menu bar menu bar one which is highlighted by the blue color just uh, double click in here okay open your property panel here and double click on menu bar over here it will actually shows you the items where you can actually edit your uh, items name here and you can add your own uh, like uh, multiple list here you can add more menu items or menu items here so this is the way how you can change it okay let me show you click on this first item you want to uh, give a name to it let me give it a name here you have a text uh, attribute uh, just uh, select it and just say tutorial okay so this is the way how you can change your name you can see uh, as i mentioned here tutorial here also you can in, see in a view a change to tutorial and uh, if you want uh, like this item to be changed let's say dream viewer if you select the another one you can see here that it automatically changed to dream viewer this is the way how you can change like let's say photoshop uh, just uh, click another way and you can see here you have a Photoshop uh, mention here and again here if you click and you'll say flash this is the way you can change your the names or you can add the names here you can click or you can just uh, uh, click on a pr uh, plus button add menu item then uh, on the untitled item you can say let's say uh, illustrator it will automatically change to illustrator here so this is the way how you can change your menu items name of your menu items and like uh, the sub menu items like uh, let's say here you have two and you want to add the sub list to it because uh, it, it's not containing by default so here also you can click on add plus add menu item and it will automatically show you and you can change the name according to whatever you want to and uh, let's go in item 3 here item 3 has some menus as well so uh, you can change uh, the same way how you i showed you there let's give me an example okay i want to change the name first to item 3 here uh, let me see um, languages okay so uh, just click in here and it will automatically show you languages here and uh, just click in here let's see C sharp okay and uh, C sharp it changed to C sharp and if you want some menu here you can actually uh, let's say um, give a, a tutorial okay just click in here it will change to tutorial here and uh, if you want to change the name to here let's say books okay and uh, it will show you books here and now if you want to add one more some uh, uh, like item 3.2 doesn't have any sub menu so if you want to add a sub menu here you can again click and add over here it will show you sub menu and you can change the name to anything whatever you want so this is very simple here to how to like uh, add a menu bar in your dream weaver 
and it's pretty simple to actually use it and uh, now I'm going to tell you how to change the colors and how to actually make it more attractive 